Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome to the first episode of our Tarkov Wipe series, our one rate a day series, or our one hour a day series. I'm super excited to be playing Tarkov again at the start of a new wipe. I hope that you're excited to be watching some videos, some Tarkov gameplay. And I just wanted to record a short little video to go before this to kind of let you know what to expect. If you've never watched Tarkov before, you never watched a Tarkov wipe before, you never watched me before. Here's what you can expect. <laughs> Uh, first, we're going to play for about an hour per day of the wipe. I'm actually starting a few days late. Thanks, vacation. Thanks, timing. Uh, so for the first couple days, there will be two videos a day probably. But the whole idea of this whole, of this whole series is just this. I'm a very average Tarkov player. I have a, a beginning account in Tarkov. Like I didn't pay for one of the, the super fancy accounts. I don't run super high-level gear. I'm not the most incredible player. What you will get in this series is an average player playing for an average amount every day you'll see how far i get you'll see what this wipe is like what it's like to just be an average player that's that's my whole goal and hopefully you'll have a lot of fun along the way we have a ton of fun talking to chat doing weird challenges or, or just having fun along the way um if you're looking for great gameplay this is not the place for you <laughs> if you're looking for perfectly average gameplay welcome my name is ryan um anyways i hope that you enjoy this i personally just love this game with all of my actual heart and that is why i put these videos out I don't do it to get some huge viewership. I hope that it makes your day if you watch any of it. Um, yeah, so without further ado, what I will say here is if you watch any of these videos, the massive thing that you can do to help me is just to hit like or to leave a positive comment below any of the videos that you watch. I'm not going to ask you on any of the rest of these videos to do that because I'm just asking you now. If you would, especially on this first one that helps out a ton, if you enjoyed any of the content, just a like or a positive comment helps out very much. All right, let's get right into the into the Tarkov gameplay. Hey, let's 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 play Tarkov. It's the first day for me of the wipe. So, what is the wipe? The wipe is uh the wipe is when everything on on Sorry, I'm trying to find my to-do list. On uh Tarkov resets. We're all back to back to zero. Yeah. So, uh I was on vacation for the first couple of days of the wipe. So, I was not here people have been playing for like uh seven days or so but i am finally here and we're gonna do it the wipe is when you go front to back yeah yeah uh back to front front to back what i have been i have i have been so excited to play this game for an absolute week and i haven't been able to play it and i'm so ready not this not the wipe stuff yeah yeah no more wiping no more wiping welcome to escape from tarkov in this game you'll have to fight for your life survive the perils of tarkov a russian city in the Norvinsk region on the brink of chaos and collapse. Your character is an operator of a private military company, PMC, caught in a maelstrom of events right after the contract wars. The area is sealed. Your operational command is not responding. You're out there alone. Previous mission objectives have lost their purpose. It's anarchy. Everybody has personal goals now. Adapt, survive, escape the blockade, try to save others. Be prepared to die and lose everything you had with you in every raid that you enter. Um, yeah. You'll die a lot, but it's a game. Let's do it. We're in English. Tony says, I'm lurking for a bit. Sounds great, Tony. Thanks for being here. What is our name? It's Little Indigestion, unless somebody stole it. Our name is Little Indigestion. <laughs> uh, sounds safe? Sounds super safe. I don't know why there's no uh, game audio. That's weird. Uh, so I think we probably want to do USEC. We could either speak Russian or we speak English. Do you guys want to speak English or Russian? Hi, number one Val Valorant player. How's it going? Good to see you, Tony. Thanks for being here. I think we want to speak English because then I could make my say my guy say funny fucking stuff. Russian? Oh no, I'm seeing a lot of Russian now. Hi, Brack. We're doing Russian. All right. Then I can make him say things like chikbla and divide my cheek. Speak nadsat? What's nadsat? I understand sukhblyat. That one. All right, we'll do Russian. Why do I have no audio? Uh-oh. That's not good. How is there no game audio? 
Uh, give me two seconds. Let me just make sure that uh, things are not broken here completely. Oh, hey. Can you guys hear that? What the fuck? Yeah, I just did it. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Now you guys can hear that. Weird. We're starting off on a good note here. There we go. This man's head is weird. All right, let me pick a different one then. You want to be Volkov? Mikhail Volkov or Sergei? just saying to me all right what do we want to look like i don't think we want to look like him let's look like mm, that guy looks like uh stone cold steve austin let's be volkov pick the shortest guy Alexander. Alexander. Don't forget to write. Nadsat is the language in Clockwork Orange. Oh. Ooh, I like Sergey's voice. We'll do Sergey. Can your Tar Tarkov character be non-binary? Dude, actually, Dinks. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tricky question. Tarkov won't even let you have female uh, female operators. Uh, yep. Welcome to their very, very Russian game. Yep. Very Russian game. Yep. They will not even let you have a female operator. Um, they have no plans to add female operators to the game. All right, so here's the wipe. This is the stuff that they give us to start with. We get a little bit of vodka because we're Russian as fuck. Um, we get a couple guns. Get a couple backpacks. And we get some stuff ready to go. Some meds. And that's it. Um, so first things first, we have 500, we have 500 K rubles, AKA monies. Uh, first things first, we should go to the different traders and accept tasks. We'll have some stuff that we need to do right off the start. This one is kill five scavs, hand over a couple guns, MP 133 shotguns. Um, this one, we have to find three Salewas and hand them in. So there's that. And then the rest of them we will unlock at higher levels. So we do need to get to level two because there's a task I want to do at level two um, that unlocks later. Yeah. Metro Last Light is a very Russian game. What about your cash? Your hidden cash? My stash? My cash? I got some stuff in my cash for sure. What about it, Strawberry? What about it? I'm so excited. Oh my god. So at the very beginning of a wipe, here's here's how this game works. They don't even like... If you haven't... You have to examine every new item in the game. So like, every piece of... Uh, every piece of equipment has this grayed out bar beside it. Do You have to like, examine and find out what it is or else it might not function for you. It might not work for you. Like, if you pick up a gun, and a part of the gun is unexamined, and you don't know what it is, then the gun won't even work. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So, my uh, my container. Strawberry. Yeah. Strawberry says, the thing you were working towards last time. Didn't you put stuff in it to keep? Yeah. So, in Tarkov, if you die. Yep. In Tarkov, if you die, you lose everything other than what is in your pouch or your container. This is my my tiny little pouch. My, my, four, my two by two pouch. Yep. So, what we're going to do, actually, is throw some meds in there uh, to start. And go from there. Um, yeah. Is that cheese? Yo, they literally call it cheese. It's a medical It's a medical kit. But yeah, we call it cheese. Gives you a little bit of health. Yep. I think we might just go with what we got here. Um, although, I should probably buy a helmet. There's a couple things I want to sell immediately, like these hats. Um, the vodka. I don't want to use the vodka at all. Sell those. I 
I don't need your vodka. That is cheese and your character is non-binary now? I love it. Sure. This is cheese and I'm non-binary. Yeah. I'm into it. Um, let's check this stuff down here. I need to buy a helmet and maybe a sight for this gun. And you know what we might do is actually go interchange to start. Um, we also want to sell the fleece and ripstop. We don't need that. Yo, you know the funniest part of... Uh, it's not really funny, but... The funniest part of this vacation that we took... So we spent a week on a house that actually floats on the water, right? And getting back to dry land now... Uh, I actually... Occasionally, the world around me will just like kind of move like we're still on the water. And it just did it again. Megan was saying she had the exact same thing going on. I have like the opposite of... Uh, yeah, I have, it's like, we, we were talking about it last night. It's like the opposite of, uh, of like sea legs, like, or whatever. Like everything is, is moving a little bit. Yeah, it's weird. All right, we want to buy a helmet. We want to sell a little bit of stuff. Sell that stuff. There's a really crappy helmet right there that I want to buy. Can I call you sea legs? You can call me sea legs. Yeah. Goth says I like that feeling. I like it. I was running earlier and I got it then too. And that I didn't like so much. That was weird. It was really strange to feel it while running. I was like, oh God. Um, all right. <laughs> can I call you sea legs? Running on your sea legs, sea legs. All right, so what we got to figure out how to do is find a couple Salewas and find three Salewas and kill five scavs on customs. There's some other stuff we could do beyond that. Um, the other thing we could do now is use our scav, our scav run more often. Let's do this. I need to put the helmet on. Put the helmet on and... Honestly, don't need to take that much ammo. Honestly, isn't the PS ammo bullshit? Isn't it like pretty bad? I don't remember. Um, I think VP is not bad. I don't remember. Hi, Kay. How's it going? How was VK? VK was awesome. VK was awesome. I'm so happy to be here. Be back, though. How are you, Kay? How you doing? Oh, Meg is calling. All right, let's uh, let's get looted, ready to go into a raid, and then uh, and then Meg will call. I'll talk to Meg. All right. Ensure everything and go. Oh, hello. Hi. How's it going? It's going. How are you? You're done at work. Let's go. Yeah. Beautiful. How's the wife Coming home. You? How's the wife treating me? I actually haven't got into my first raid. We actually spent like an hour and a half talking and I raided people's, uh, R-A, raided R-A-T-E-D, uh, people's desktops. Uh -huh. Oh yeah? Yeah. Um, there were some good ones. No perfect ones, but there were some really good ones, you know? Yeah? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, there were, some, there were some good ones. How are you? Great. I'm good. Good? I'm good. Excited to come home? I am. I'm probably going to go to the grocery store first, which you know just always gets me so excited. I know you love the grocery store, yeah. I love the grocery store. Sofa wants you to post your desktop when you get home. How many How many uh, logos do you have on your desktop? Shortcuts? consolidated some the other day but i do tend to um save things to my desktop yeah that i want to use and things and then it takes me a while to remember that i need to go back through and like delete pictures or weird stuff yeah so 
like if I'm making PowerPoint. Well, you'll have to send it to us later. Okay, well, I can't. Um, it won't even let me change my desktop background photo because my Windows isn't activated. Oh, because your Windows isn't so. activated. That's right. That's right. Kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. I don't feel like it's a true... True Representation of who you are. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But no, I probably have like two rows of icons. Yeah. That's it. Well. So, do you need anything from the grocery store? I don't need anything from the grocery store. Thanks. Alright. Well, I'm gonna drive through somewhere and get some lunch and then go to the grocery and then I'll be home. Okay. We'll see you soon. All right, love you. Have love fun. you too. Bye. Bye. Sophie says, does she have work? She did have work today. She had work today. Yep. Yep. Tub, what the hell is that? Hi, Tub. How's it going? All right, guys. Here's our goals. I'm working on our goals right now for Tarkov today. Here's our goals. We're loading into our raid. Survive raids. We want to actually survive them and not die, especially early on. That's super important to us. We got to find three Salewas, which are the which are the heal items, and we need to make some money. Once we get 1.1 million, we can buy one item, which is going to be really, really important to us, called a scav junk box. So we're going to work on that. Kay says, I don't feel so good after my second dose of the vaccine. Damn side effects. Oh no, what are you feeling? Like, what do you got going on? Matt says, Meg, bring me home something from the grocery store like a two-foot salmon matt you live here in indiana do you have two-foot salmon in your grocery store sofa says give me some milk <laughs> i'll cover the shipping <laughs> yeah we'll send you some milk for sure yeah yeah i want the gallon jug we have bags here does your milk come in a bag what It does? How does that work? What kind of bag are we talking? Like wine in a bag? That kind of that kind of deal? Alright, y'all, we're loading in to our first raid of the Tarkov wipe. It's happening right now. It's happening. Our first raid of the Tarkov wipe. Ahead of us is many, many raids of horror and death and destruction. So much new stuff to explore this wipe. So many people that better people to die to. So many shots to miss. So many shots to take. We're ready. We're doing it. For now, we're going to keep it pretty simple. Our goal is to survive, make some money. Uh, I would like to loot some food as well. There's some food I can loot over here, potentially, um, on this map. And yeah, that's the goal. Are you playing Yoru? Yeah, yeah, I'm playing Yoru. Somebody else took Phoenix, so... a little hidden stash I can grab right here. We're going to play very slow. So one of the big changes they uh, they made this wipe is that um, your good stuff here is that it's level 20 to hit the flea market now. So the flea market is like the way you make money in this game, right? It's now level 20 to hit the flea market. And that is... Um, a long way from now. So that means money is going to be so important to us. And it's going to make the, the game much slower and more difficult at the start. Like Tarkov needed to be more difficult. But it's like really giving a lot of people problems. So that's going to be fun. Venus said I, I should be an inspirational speaker. <laughs> We're going to hit headshots. We're going to miss shots. Tarkov is easy. You just get cheese. Yes, collect cheeses. I'm actually really scared about going in this entrance. But I heard a shot the other way. I'm nervous.
Let's listen. I have one. I have one cheese. I need more cheese. All right, let's go. Acquired cheese. Kill bitches. Acquired cheese. All right. <laughs> Thanks. What do you got going on today, by the way? You're back home. Your vacation was good. Or the cheese, sell it back to the peasants at 10 times the price. That was a scav. Alright, we're gonna... So let me turn power on. The mannequins? Yeah, the mannequins in this game are fucking... Terrifying. There's the NBA Finals Game 2 tonight, which is exciting. Bucks versus, uh... You walked me through this. Phoenix Suns. Yo, I said that before you typed that. I'm actually so proud of myself. It's it's the Bucks versus the Gothsons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget to write. Let's actually put that there. And then do that. I'm excited. Freya, are you a uh, are you a NBA fan as well? Okay, so that's down here at power. I shouldn't even look. I shouldn't even look. Don't look, Ryan. It's down there at power station. I don't need to go there though. I just had to resist the temptation to even look. I would say, how about you? But I think I know what your day contains. Yeah, you're looking at it. Yep. Somebody has looted this already. Uh-oh. Chat. This is what we want right here. Somebody's been here. I want to loot all this food. I shouldn't run, but still. Cat, how's it going? Hello there, stranger. Hi, cat. How's it going? Is that thing on the right night your custom Streamlabs overlay? The goals part? I, uh... I made the, uh... I made the goals... One, the one of them is just like a PNG I made in Photoshop. And then the other one is a shitty... The part below that is a shitty Streamlabs... Um, text overlay, yeah. Yeah. So nervous right now. <laughs> Kat, how are you? How's life? I want to just make it out with literally a backpack full of food. This is like day one of the Tarkov Russian wilderness. Their shots fired? Yeah, and they're still fucking fighting back there. Just scary. Day one of the of the Tarkov of 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 the insanity, right? Alright, I should just loot quick at this point. Nobody's been over here. I just gotta make get enough food to survive for a couple weeks. Sofa says go scavenge the corpse. Now see, that is the shit that somebody would do. Somebody who is brave would go do that, you know? They would go like... They'd go... They'd go towards the shots. I'm gonna run terrified from there. We do need these. These Tashanka right here are super valuable. That's needed for a quest later. Um, I'm gonna find like three of them. You got the piece of celery between your teeth out? Yo, let's go, Sofa. Can we get some little into hearts in the chat for Sofa? Cass says, I'm not doing too bad. Not bad at all. 
Except when I was walking someone's dog, I rolled my ankle. Oh no, on a small hill. Oh no. How's the ankle doing? That sucks. That's embarrassing. All right, let's drink our first uh, our first Russian Coke. My God, look at the amount of Coke here. The other thing we can do is we can take a lot of this food and uh, and uh, trade it for other good items. You, Dan Giesling, and Dumb Dog are all playing Tarkov. This checks out. Yo, I think actually Dan is playing with uh, Dumb Dog and uh, Mouth, the other another creator that I really like. Yeah, I think they're all three playing together. Holy shit. First shots fired. Let's go. First shots fired to the whole wipe. Oh my god, I heard the steps and I got so scared. Time Time to be quick. Time to be quick. We get a second weapon, we get out. Oh my god, we need that shotgun. Give me the fuck out of this game. We're going to steal his sunglasses, too. What is this? A pillbox? I've never seen that before. Fucking Pog, let's get the fuck out of here. He's got a grenade. He's got a couple grenades. Okay, alright. Give me the fuck out of here. What ammo has he got? He's got the shit ammo. Alright, damn it. That's fine. BS is okay. Um... Come on, come on, come on. I need that for sure. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, And then let's get rid of like... Uh... Alright, we're good. Get the fuck out. If there's any... Uh... There's any more Tashanka? We should check that real quick, and then we're out. Oh! All you need in life is cheese and sunglasses. That's herring. Don't need that. Tashan That's whale. Humpback whale. The shots were closer too. Humpback. I'll hump your back. You know what I'm saying? That's that's Tashanka. Oh my god, the sheer amount of food over here. I'm just getting greedy. Chad, don't let me get, don't let me be greedy. Make me get out. Make me get out. Where do I get out? Um, I gotta go towards Emercom, which is that way. Alright, cool. Cass says it happened about 30 minutes ago. Um Little Sword, definitely not as bad as the time I was playing disc golf and walked right off the tee. That's really close. Kill that man, get his cheese. He didn't have any cheese, unfortunately. If only. All right, let's get the fuck out. Put all that food in the middle as a trap. Yo, I like the way your brain works. There was more Tashanka. Is that more Tashanka? No. We need the, we need the Tushy. We need the Tushy Anka, all right? This stuff. This is worth its weight in gold. What is it? I don't exactly know. It's beef stew. Worth its weight in gold, though. We need the Tushy Anka. Must have the Tushy. Can you do this without breaking your leg? We'll find out. You can! Let's go. Is this game sponsored by Snickers? Matt asks. No, the uh, very high-quality Russian translation of this game named it Slickers with an L. So it's obviously not at all related to Snickers. <laughs> Alright, let's see. DVD drive, I don't need that. 
get this food and get the fuck out. Alright, we're doing it. Wait, what, Sofa? Why are asparagus made like spears for mice? What does this mean? Spears for mice? What is this? Um, we could drink that one. Just out here drinking Coke. I'll see har harpoons that aren't sharp. Am I picturing, picturing the right one? Asparagus? What's asparagus look like? Little harpoons? I'm gonna have to Google this later. That's like the time Megan and I were, uh... Have you guys heard this? The time Megan and I were... Making dinner together and I called it like... Oh, that's gonna break my leg. Oh, it didn't. Oh, thank God. Get the fuck out. Oh my god, did you guys just see that? Kill the man. Obtain the cheese. I'm gonna get popped in the back. I don't need to fight him. I think he's running around the back. It must be that way. Where'd he go? He was right here. Oh, buddy. Scary times. Alright. You got this? Just get the fuck out? That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna follow him so that hopefully I don't run into him. He'll never expect me to come from behind. You know? It's flawed logic if I've ever heard. You put a picture of asparagus in the Discord? I can't wait for somebody who missed this stream to tune in later and be like, what the fuck were they talking about? This would be a huge win to make it out of this raid alive. I really got to make it out alive. I have a gun that I need. I have so much food. I could feed my Russian family for years with this much food. Oh my god, that scared the actual piss out of me. Victoria! Hello! The tier three for five months, and we got our first... Let's go! First raid is in the bag. Little in the hearts in the chat for Victoria for the tier three sub. Let's go! Hi, Victoria. How we doing? Oh my god, we made it to level two. We got the shotgun we needed. We got the food we needed. That's a big win. Hi, Victoria. That's a big fucking win. What's up with all the desktop pictures? Cat, I was rating people's desktop. Uh, desktops. Um, yeah, depending on uh, what they have on their desktop, I've been rating it. So if you want to post your, your desktop in the chat, maybe I could rate them tomorrow. It's stretch time, chat. Time to, time to get up and stretch for a second. Good stuff. Sofa posted an asparagus in the Discord. Let me find it. Sofa wants me to do some pull-ups. Dink says, did you read anything on your vacation? Dinks, I read five. I read six fucking books. Almost seven. Okay, so this is what I thought. Asparagus. This is what I thought. They look like ineffectual harpoons or spears. You're right. You're right. Before you start the next run, I will do that. Oh my god. Cat's desktop? 
Okay, let me let me let me get ready for the next raid. And then I'll rate that. We'll take a look. Victoria, how are you? I've missed you the last week. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Um, alright. Big money. Big money. Big money red. I have lots and lots of notes. It looked like it. It looked like it. Tashanka we need. I gotta figure out how to do it. Um, there's a task. Gunsmith part one. Introduction part one. This is what we need. We're gonna go to woods next. This unlocks Jaeger. Um, last time you said seven. Here's the deal. I got really close to finishing this book. So I read, I read six, almost seven books. I read Hamlet. I read Leaves of Grass. I know Victoria loves Leaves of Grass. Um, I read a book about love. I got all of them here. Interpreter of Maladies by Jhumpa Lahiri. Uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stuff in the inventory real quick. I know, Matt. I know. Um, favorite book? I am aware, Matt. I am aware. Favorite book? I don't know what my favorite book is. Don't know what my favorite book is. It's a good question. Do you have a favorite? All right, we're gonna keep all the Tashanka. Um, and then what else do we need? I think we want to actually maybe keep Tarkola. Are there any new changes in Tarki or just the wipe? Um, yeah, there are some big changes, Cat. big changes. All right, back into Tarkov. Cat says, what's this new Tarki business? What's going on with Tarkov? Oh my God, Cat! do I have things to tell you? Do I have things to tell you? What's new with Tarkov? What isn't new with Tarkov? What isn't new with Tarkov? So <laughs> they, they completely changed the game. And I don't know how to describe what all is different. So let's start with like some of the more, the easier things to talk about. Uh, there's this big, big thing about how people play the game in Tarkov, which is the flea market, which is right down here, but I can't access it. It's how you sell stuff to other players. It's how you buy whatever item you want. The flea market is like an, an integral part of the game. It's how everybody buys everything, sells everything, makes money, gets the quest items that they need. Um, the flea market is now, <laughs> as of this wipe, at level 20 instead of level 10. Level 10, pretty easy to reach. Um, 15 raids or so will get you there. Level 20, probably like 60 to 70 raids will get you there. It's so not easy to reach. It's really not easy to reach. So, um, that's a huge change. I don't know what that's going to do, uh, but it's going to make things very tough. Uh, I'm excited by all of these changes, by the way. Like, the game has just gotten tougher. There's no way around it. Um, they changed a ton about how your actual scav works. So, we're actually going to do a scav run next just to make some money. Um, PMC, that's the player that you have who gains experience all that stuff scav is just your like your one-off player we're actually going to try that right now your scav raid is your uh we'll go into factory which is another another thing to talk about your scav is like they're these these neutral partners you can run around and not shoot other scavs and you can just get free loot and anything you make it out with you get to keep um yeah so that's that factory the the map that we're going into also got expanded to like twice its size so that's also new um, yeah. Hairline check. How am, how am I doing, Brack? I just got a haircut yesterday. Hairline check. Seb's eight years old, by the way. Can we adopt Seb? I'd be down to adopt Seb. Oh, shit. Seb is Dinks' biological son. Well, that confuses things. Cass says, I've never understood Tarkov before, so maybe because of this wipe, I'll be able to understand more. Cat, let me blow your mind for you. Maybe. You were never meant to fully understand Tarkov. Maybe. I just got kicked out. That was weird. Maybe Tarkov was meant not to be understood. Maybe it was the not understanding the whole time. 
Brack's hopping off. See you, Brack. Thanks for being here, dude. Uh, Goth has multiple sons. It's true. Multiple sons. Tarkov is the Tarkov of video games. You guys, Dink sent me the most hilarious TikTok the other day, which was uh, about Tarkov, and I've never been more proud. I've never been more proud. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I hear you. I, I don't even understand Tarkov. Like, the thing about Tarkov is there's just a, there's so much to understand that you never actually get all of it. So, the developers don't even understand Tarkov? They don't. They definitely don't. It's, it, here's, here's, my, here's, my, here's why it's very hard to understand Tarkov. Because the game is in development. The game is still, like, pretty early in development. It's in beta. They're just basically experimenting all the time with, like, how they want the end, the, the end game to run. Like, the, the eventual published game to run. And so, because of that, they just, like, throw random shit in all the time, which I love. Um, mess things up. See what happens. And we go from there. And a lot of it is, like, placeholder stuff for now. Um, and bigger stuff later. Ding says, I'm headed off for a bit. If you're still streaming for a while, I'll be back later. Sounds great, Dings. Good to see you. All right. So, this is a scaf. That means all this loot is free, so long as I can actually survive with it. So, this is Factory, which is now a big old map. There's big parts. One big thing, there's so there's new parts of Factory, which we can explore here in a second, over this way. The other thing they did was they made it so that you don't actually want to hurt other scavs. It's like it's beneficial to you to not hurt... Other scavs. So you want to be peaceful. It gives you, like, reps. Like, it gives you stuff if you're peaceful. Which is strange. By dinks, by poopy. See you, Tones. Sounds great, Matt. Alright. So let's loot a little bit. We need that. And let's go just see if we can explore... Oh, the other thing is there's a whole big fucking new boss on this map. He has a fucking sledgehammer. It's insane. His name is Tegilla. He's the brother of Killa. The one who we killed. There's a dead player right there. Okay. I'm nervous. Let's just do it. We shouldn't have done it. <laughs> um, that guy's name is Big Fat Cock TTV. <laughs> LOL, by the way. How long does a raid take? Uh, raids take different amounts based on the amount of time. Or the different amounts of time based on the map. Factory is a short map. It's 20 minutes long. Killa has a brother. Let me show you. This is Tagilla. This is maybe the like biggest add into the game. Tagilla is this dude. He's got a fucking sledgehammer. Yeah. Runs around with a sledgehammer. Hi, Surprise. How's it going? Hi, Aaron. How are we doing? Hindsight's 2020. I really should not have run into that, should I have? Um, yeah. That's okay. That's our scav, so it literally doesn't cost us anything. I think what we may do now... I want to uh, look at all this food stuff real quick. And look at, uh... What we need for something, but... Surprise says, I'm frustrated with life. What's going on? You had therapy today, right? Hot rod, Tarcola. Okay, so we need... Hot rods, Tarcola, squash, and herring. We don't need that, that, that. We can sell all of those. Need herring, squash. Keep one sprats. Mm. Sell all those. Okay. Cool. Great. Let's sell that stuff real quick then. Uh, Disco's headed to Home Depot. I love it. See you tomorrow. Sounds great. Have fun at Home Depot. Give me something good. 
I literally have to leave for visitation in like two hours. Yeah. Have you had any, uh, while I was gone, have you had any luck about getting a, um, a laptop or anything you could take with you, Express? All right, so is it right here? I need to turn in the shotgun that I got. Yes. Good, let's do that. Cool. Uh, now we want to go woods. All right. So let's look back at this, make sure I got everything. Now we want to go woods. We want to ideally uh, find Jaeger's message and then get out. So we're working on this task right here. Jaeger is a trader that we don't have. Uh, we unlock him once we do this task called introduction. There's one spot on woods where you find a message, grab it, extract, and then we're good. So let's go woods, do that. Cool. Masses water has been acquired. I love it. Did you get a laptop surprise? You actually got one already? What'd you get? Um... Aaron says, uh, Powerline says, it's going all right. Got some irons in the fire right now. Irons in the fire. What kind of irons you got in what kind of fire, Aaron? You got me curious now. You got me very curious now. Oh my God, surprise. Whatever you just sent me, the link looked so sketchy. My computer really did not want me to open it. Uh-oh. Guess what, guys? It's, uh... It's lightninging here. Hi, Kings. What's up, buddy? Hi. It's okay. Aw. He's got his thunder vest on like a big boy. He's had some Xanax today. You okay, buddy? Good boy. Uh, surprise got a pretty nice one. All right, let's look at the link. I don't ever know what the hell I'm looking at with uh, laptops. It has a 3070 in it. Wait a second. How does it have a 3070 in it? What? How does it fit? Huh? 3070s are huge, aren't they? aren't they? How does this... I don't know anything about laptops. How the fuck does that work? It's a laptop 3070, so that's different. It's probably not like big fan cooling. It's a suitcase with a screen. <laughs> exactly. It's big. It's actually not all that big. I look at that and I think in my very dumb way, there's no way 3070 fits in this. But a laptop 3070? Aaron says, I got a bunch of parts coming in to build a new computer. Been drawing, getting ready to rig a VTube model. Oh my God. Going to be streaming by the end of the month. Let's go, Aaron. Let's go. Hi, Kings. Watch out, buddy. All right, we're loading in. 